Well, guys, as we launch today's video in Fancy Place, I just want to know, do you have any great poupon? Anyway, what's up, everybody? It's Steph here from Malta Fame. We are back with another video, and let's jump into it because it's going to be an exciting one. Let's go. I'm in the zone. Give me the throne. One shot. That's all that you got. That's all that I know. Turn on the gas. 155 on the road. Well, boys and girls, my time with the scat has come to a close. We are back at Tropical Auto Outlet, dropping it back off for one of you to buy. Unless you guys really, really, really think that I should buy this. You know what I'm saying? In the last video, you guys saw it. You saw what was going on. You saw the vibes. You saw how we was riding out. We had a good time with this, man. We went out last night. You know, this car got a lot of attention, bro. Like, a lot of attention. You know, the sound, the look, the everything. Like, the whole package together. It's just an all-in-all -all good look, you feel? So, I don't know, man. The thing is, I feel like this would be the absolute, like, perfect car to have, like, to, to try to have on the channel to show y'all what I would do with a scat, performance-wise. In addition to that, I think it would be the perfect car, because these cars are getting harder and harder to get, the perfect car that if one of you guys wanted to scat, but just not in a position right now, but you could afford a t-shirt, I mean, you could enter the giveaway to potentially win if I decided to buy this car. That's probably what I would end up doing with it, you know, giving it away to one of you. And the crazy part is you get a fully done up car already. Like everything is done already, bro. I mean, and it even got the the red guts you see it man you know what i'm saying got the the red guts the scat on the seat you know what i'm saying and this joint is clean 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 boy this thing is clean 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 you feel me i mean just look at that shot right there right doors open bloody guts out to full exhaust all of that I don't know, man. I'm on a, I'm on a fence right now. I wasn't planning on doing any more giveaways right now, but this right here got me feeling a little bit of a kind of way. Like I said, it's, it's just been a great overall experience. But uh, I'm dropping this car off. I'm gonna be heading to the airport soon. And if you guys really, really think I should get it, drop down in the comments and be like, "Yo, Steph, I'm in," because I would literally be buying it for one of you. All right, so let's go inside, talk to the fellas, see what's going on, man. And then I got to get to the airport. And I want you guys to come with me because I need to talk to you about something really important. It's pretty cool when the when the business actually has the cars that they have it on the windows and on the signs. They actually have the cars for sale. It's always dope. And one long flight later, we are home, boys. We are home, man. <laughs> I tell you, I don't necessarily care for traveling. I don't like flying that much, although I do it a lot. But we're home. I just got to run, run in the house, grab the keys to this because we're running out right now to go get some E85. A man's work is never done. And when we hop in the car, I got something to tell you guys, something that we got to talk about pretty seriously. All right, come on. All right, boys, let's talk. So, if you guys haven't noticed, uh, Mod to Fame has, is a YouTube channel that's been in existence since 2017. And since 2017, Mod to Fame started this life with a Porsche Panamera Turbo and also this Durango from the beginning are the cars that have kind of been with me all this time. Since then, though, in 2018, we added the Dodge Challenger Hellcat. In 2020, we added a Dodge Challenger Hellcat Red Eye, so on and so forth. But I've always liked Mopar vehicles. I'm not necessarily a one-trick pony, but I really like those cars. But for the business of YouTube, 
we kept pushing forward with Mopar. In that though, since I started modding my personal car, my Dodge Challenger Hellcat, in late 2018, I started modifying that car. Starting out with small things, with a tune only, from Diablo Sport, a can tune, something simple, added 30 wheel horsepower. And then after that, we went on to add, you know, the usual, the bolt-ons, intake, catless mids, picked up another 24 wheel horsepower, all that good stuff. And then we went on to do upper pulley, upper pulley only. And we went on to do a smaller upper pulley in E85. Then we did upper, lower, pin the crank, E85, all that good stuff. Then we went on from that to do ice tank, ported blower, pretty much full tilt that you would do with a bolt-on setup for a Hellcat, minus long two patterns, but pretty much everything else with a stock motor. Relatively fast car for what it was, and I enjoyed that. But YouTube actually, I saw the writing on the wall, and I saw that that was going to get saturated of people doing the same mods to these Hellcats. So then I took it another step further and I said, what can I do to be outside of the box to stand out and to push the platform forward? Well, to me, the logical thing was either bigger blower, which is the easy thing to do. Um, that is just a matter of taking off your old supercharger and putting on a new bigger one, whether it be Maggie or Whipple or you know any of those. That is the easy thing to do. Or do I do a turbo kit? Um, do I go turbo? And if I go turbo, do I do single? Do I do twin? You know, the easy thing for me to do would have been to call a company like uh, Helion who produces twin turbo kits. Um, but again, I figured that's something that people were going to be doing. So let me see how I can improve upon that and make a difference in the space. So I decided to go head on and I went with a fully custom built four to one collector turbo manifolds. My turbo manifolds are completely custom. I noticed that Helion uses like a log style, which is lowers production cost, makes it a little bit easier, but I know it cannot flow nowhere as close as well as mine does. And then the rest of the kit, the hot side, all custom, cold side, all custom, and it's going to a uh, full billet intake manifold as opposed to just gutting the factory supercharger. And my intake manifold also uses air to water cooling bricks. So my whole system retained the factory air to water that the supercharger system had from factory, but just improved upon it a little bit with larger cooling bricks going into the manifold. I then also added to that kit an inner chiller system from FI Inner Chillers, the company in Australia. That is the good one. The other one is not as good. With that came all sorts of, you know, little difficulties and stuff because the car was not intended to be a twin turbo car from the start. It was intended to work as a supercharged car. So I spent all of 2021 basically just trying to get the car to work right. <laughs> I knew it was making power, it was fast. Uh, again, my, my motor is also not stock anymore. I do have basically a bored out 6.2 to a 4.26, and that 4.26 is now forged pistons and rods, so upgraded forged pistons and rods. It still does have a steel crank. It is a Molnar crank, similar to that of stock. It's just the rotating assembly is, is forged. Uh, with the pistons and rods the rest of it is stock stock heads all that good stuff upgraded push rods and upgraded valve springs it is cammed by comp so my setup is is pretty serious it's a pretty serious setup and as a youtuber goes i see a lot of people saying a thousand horsepower a thousand horsepower well my car actually does make well over a thousand wheel horsepower dyno proven that's not really something that you see on YouTube as much as just claims that they have a thousand horsepower car with no actual data backing up the fact that it is a thousand horsepower to the wheels. Nor do I see them have cars that could put it down and really, really work. You know, shout to my guy Demonology. He is one of the fast, fast YouTubers. And I also join those ranks as well. That being said, with all of this knowledge that I've gained, I get, no lie, at least two to five DMs per day asking me what people should do with their Mopars, what blower to run, what pulley combination, what if they have a scat they're asking and they want to make it a Hellcat, can I just put a blower on it? What is the max PSI? I get so many of these questions 
daily. So, you know, I try my best to try to get to everybody, try to answer everybody. That being said, I never hear back, right? So I put in this work, never really hear back and never get a like a, you know, after it's done, thanks. Thank you. So actually what I started doing was some of the people who are local to me, I started getting involved in some of the projects. So um, you guys saw last year, I ran, broke my record with another twin turbo Hellcat, Dodge Charger Hellcat with a Helion twin turbo kit on it. Turned it up a little bit, but automatic did the trick, uh, got past my time. And that car set the record at Race Motive, which is an event, a roll, big roll race event that we do here locally. Fastest of the fast go to these events locally here. So uh, got involved with that project, got that project going. Then another one of my buddies, a guy Darren, who had a really crazily built Dodge Challenger Hellcat that had a really nice motor put together in it. I mean, everything in it from the heads to an aluminum block to the pistons and rods used to everything top to bottom really significant build however I mean the builder had a fallen out and you know when it came time to dialing it in and getting the car right he never did it so therefore I stepped in and working with my tuner drag on tuning we got the car dialed picked up a ton of the car was running like a dog before Super Rich. You guys actually saw that video series. It actually did pretty well. Pushed it a lot further and he was super happy because finally the money that he spent did what it was supposed to do, right? That's that's what really matters, right? We spent all this money. For an example, his motor build alone was like 25 grand. So after you spend that kind of money, all you want is for the thing to work, right? For everything to work right. Well, in addition to that, another one of my buddies had a red eye, blew up his red eye, and decided that he wanted to rebuild it. So he called me from the jump. You know, shout to Hellstorm SRT. You guys have seen me run his car a couple times on his channel when it was stock. He did the whole pulley combinations and all that, but he had some bad tuning, and the bad tuning unfortunately blew his engine. So came to me from the jump to get the car back on track. From there, I referred him to get my same engine, um, which he did my same engine but he did an upgraded crank i didn't he did some upgrades to that motor and now that motor is back in his car getting work with him on that project and now that car is running low nines full weight so i say all of that to say i've really built out from my experiences and from building this car my particular car as well as others uh also and i don't know if you guys remember with with the red eye killmonger that i had I did the whole demon tune on it, where you just wanted to factor your red eye, but you wanted the demon power. I actually worked with uh, Team Hellcat to figure that out. We got that figured out and got that done. And you know, that was that was a little bit of a feat. It was before its time because you know later on that year, now Dodge offers that same thing, and they offer it through the stage kits. If you get a stage kit from a red eye, that's going to be coming out soon. But that's something that we did in 2020. <laughs> so it's pretty cool to kind of be ahead of the curve on things. That being said, what do I do with this wealth of information? You know, what do I do with it? I got all this information in my head. I don't really have a way specifically on how to leverage this information to help people, but at the same time, not hurt myself. So the DMs are cool. They're great. You know, I, I help as many people as I can. But in no way, shape, or form does that help mod to fame. In no way, shape, or form does that help the brand. And a lot of times, people just want information even if they're not ready for it. So, we have officially launched a new arm of mod to fame. A new part of the company. And the name of this additional arm is called Mod Connect. So, it's mod to fame, but mod connect. What does that mean? That means that I am the connect, right? I have the information. I've gone through all the headaches and issues already for you. I know how to set up a car. I know how to make these Mopars really fast and I can get that done for you. Obviously, in order to make it make sense for my business, we had to put it in the form of some sort of a, a company or an extension of Mod to Fame. So what does this extension do? Mod Connect is exactly this. You have a Hellcat, you got a Hellcat Red Eye, you have a Scat Pack, you even have an RT, right? And you want to make it faster, but you don't necessarily know how you would like to go about doing that. You've read on the forum certain things, your buddy has told you this, you know, other guys at the track have told you that, but you don't know the combination and how to put it all together. And then 
uh, let's say you decide that, okay, I'm gonna drop it off at the shop. Which shop is the good one and which one is the bad one? Because I don't know if you guys know, but there are some shops, there's a lot of shops, unfortunately, where a lot of these Mopars are sitting and basically they're becoming graveyards where they're taking your money to order parts and now the parts are on back order and your car is just sitting, right? There is a there is an instance a lot and when these parts are on back order, but unfortunately some bad people are using that as excuses, you know, and it's, it's really messing things up, right? So the good thing is the relationships that I've built, the people that I have around me, they are going to do the right thing. I am going to be, do the right thing. But here's the biggest thing. The way that it all works is I am going to be your consultant. Me, I'm gonna be your consultant on your bill. Technically, that means that your build is gonna have an agent, somebody that is working on your build's behalf, right? So you decide that you have a, a Hellcat and you want it to make a thousand wheel horsepower. As long as you have a budget in place that makes sense for that, then you're going to set a 30 minute call with me. You're gonna do that by visiting Mod Connect either on Instagram and requesting a DM, or you can email support at Mod to Fame. And as long as you put Mod Connect in the title, it'll get to the right person and they'll set you up with a 30 minute consultation where we will talk about your goals, we will talk about what you're looking to accomplish, and then we will talk about the services that we will be offering to help you achieve those goals. Super duper simple, super duper important. Should you decide to move forward and use our services, we will provide you an invoice for that goal on how you can get there, the parts you're gonna need, the people that you're gonna need to work with, your tuning options, tuners. We have at our disposal, one of our partners, and a timeline, which is super also important. And a lot of times that's missing when you visit these shops. It's like these, this blind, like oh, I'm gonna drop my car off and it should be done and no, right? So I am going to help a lot of people get things done right and done right the first time. Doing it right the first time is hella important. Doing it right the first time. Trust me, I've gone through the bad parts, I've gone through the bad tuners, I've gone, I've interacted with bad shops, you know, I've seen it all. And if I haven't seen it all, my partners that I'm working with, the shops that I'm going to work with, the tuners I'm going to work with, the part suppliers that I'm working with, the manufacturers that I'm working with, they've seen it all and together, I am going to put all of their knowledge together along with what I know and do it right the first time. Whether your build is simple or your build is big, either way, your build is going to have an advocate. Your build is going to have an agent, a person that is going to facilitate it and a person who knows. And do I have people on my team? Yes, you're gonna. Have, but you are gonna have an initial conversation with me. It'll be with me, your initial conversation. All right, guys, so huge again, and I think this is gonna do really well in the marketplace. I'm gonna start out with Mopar, but we will be expanding our services to other vehicles in the future. We're gonna start with Mopar because Mopar is what we're known for more than every other vehicle on Mod to Fame. Although my driveway, as you can see, consists of German cars, American cars, and other cars that I have you don't even know about. <laughs> But anyway, guys, man, I just wanted to make this huge announcement to you, man. Go follow Mod Connect. Go follow Mod Connect on Instagram right now. Go check that out. And uh, I'll be posting there. You can ask questions there. And, you know, we can get it started, man. If, if, if this is you and you're looking for the right person to do your build, there is no one right person. It has to be a team of people like what I've assembled. But anyway, guys, and I appreciate y'all. I really do. I appreciate all of my mod squad who got me to a point where I can do this. This is this is really big and I'm really thankful. I'm really thankful. Now, I am going to be very limited in who I take on with projects. That's part of the consultation call too, to see if you're the right fit for the program. You know, I, I can't take on any and everybody, but I guarantee you the people that we do take on, they're gonna be super happy. Get your consult done today, man. If you're serious and you're ready to make a move, get your consult done, get in there early. Mod connect, all one word, pretty easy.
or support at modtofame.com uh, email address. Either one, guys. All right. Now, let me go get some E85 because that's what I came out here to do. I came. I got my cans in the back. We're going to go get some E85 so I can have it on deck for the Hellcat. Pump E85, that is. I don't even you have to use race E85. That twin turbo setup is monstrous. The car makes a 1,000 wheel horsepower. It can make a 1,000 wheel horsepower on 93 octane. Straight 93, no meth, nothing. You can make a thousand wheel horsepower. Bro, you cannot beat it. And here we are. E85 cans. Going to get E85. Now look at here though, man. These gas prices, these gas prices, something gotta change. Jesus! E85 is damn near four dollars a gallon. That is not good. That is not good. I just spent a hundred and twenty-seven dollars and seventy-nine cents on one, two, three, four, five, six. Figure, let's say those I, I put almost six gallons in, right? But these these can't get no more than what five point one gallons. So yeah, hundred and thirty dollars almost. That's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. And boys, we made it home. But the first thing that I do before I put any E85 in the car, I start running the E85 with my E85 tester. So let's do that now. Let's start testing this E85, baby. All right, so I've already filled it up to the line with water. Now we gotta fill up the rest with E85, and then we'll have, we'll know from the pump what we're getting. All right, let's do that now. All right, so let's crack a open. I love to hear that sound. That means it's sealed up good. So we're gonna crack that one open. We're gonna take our syringe, our turkey baster, I call it. I get it good in there. That's not enough, so I turn it over, squeeze it again, and put it back in there real quick. Then suck up the rest of the way, turn it over, squeeze it again, put it back in, suck in the rest of the way, and that should definitely be about enough to go into the bottle. So let's load that in now. I need my other hand to do this though. Sorry guys. All right, boys. So we got it almost perfectly to the top. So now we're gonna go ahead and load our cap on there. Come line it up right. It's amazing how much stuff you need to do with two hands. Shake it up good, shake it up good. And we're gonna sit it on this flat surface. Wait for it to mix in. Then once it's done mixing in, it's gonna have a line. All right, boys, we got the goods, man. We got the goods. Look, I shorted it a little bit, right? So I short, hold on. I shorted it a little bit. It didn't go all the way to the black line. I know it's really hard to see, but that is the line right there. See the line? And it is in between 90 and 85 with it shorted a little bit. So this is like E87. This is some good stuff here. This is the good. See, and when it starts to get warmer, the 85 content gets better. But where I get E85, man, it's always at least i think the least i've ever gotten from this station is like 75 in the dead of the cold i'm talking about january february and it was still like 77 so this station is consistent but you always want to test your e85 if you plan on running the car hard because more than likely that's what you tune the car on now the tuner should have backed it down to be able to function strongly at e70 e70 should kind of be a cutoff but man this is good stuff the car is going to respond better it's going to run harder it's going to give me all the timing that the tuner asks it for when it sees this good quality 85. and then this right here is something that's secret something i'm working on i'm working on something uh pretty unique here that uh after i'm done testing i'll let you guys know but this is a nice little secret concoction that i'm whipping up special just for you guys well boys that's it man thank you for watching another video hanging out with mod to fame don't forget mod connect is where you can actually contact or connect with me get your consults going man i'm going to be helping out just a few people at the start of the quarter i'm gonna break it down quarterly of the projects that i'm gonna work on and the people i'm gonna work with so make sure you get in there hit up mod connect today anyway man here with this monster, the twin turbo beast. Make sure you visit modfane.com and we are out. We're out. Peace.